Hey folks, Ken MacArthur here, best-selling author of Impact, How to Get Noticed, Motivate Millions, and Make a Difference in a Noisy World. And this is the Perpetual Learning Series webcast. I'm so glad that you're here on the call. This would be a great, great time for you to go out and invite other people, let people know on social media that we've got something special going on. Uh, Mitch Axelrod is with us. He's an incredible friend. Uh, a brilliant mind, and he knows a lot about maximizing your profits and about maximizing your intellectual property so that you can have those kind of profits that you want. It's going to be a great, great session today. I'm really excited about all the people that are here. I'm excited about lots of things. we got so much stuff coming up, and I get to spend some time with uh, Mitch in the beautiful wilds of California in San Diego. If any of you can join us for JV Alert Live, uh, that's going to be on the 18th through the 20th. And on the 17th, we're doing something really, really special with Mitch. So um, if you get a chance to be there, if you know of anybody in the San Diego area that should be at those events, uh, let us know because we don't want anybody to miss out uh, and it will never be like this again. <laughs> you know, every time I do a JV Alert live event or a one-day intensive, I am uh, getting the constant eye-opener that this is the only time this particular magic will happen, and magic happens at every single event that I do. It's pretty incredible, the, the uh, joint ventures that take place, the relationships that form, the bursts, the deaths, <laughs> the uh, the exciting uh, projects that people have uh, built at these uh, live events, and so I'm excited about that. Uh, if you don't know about me, I'm the best-selling author of a couple of great books. You can get those on Amazon. Just do a quick search on Ken MacArthur. Uh, you can do a Google search on Ken MacArthur and find out more than you ever wanted to know about me. And Mitch uh, is just incredible. He's been around for a long, long time helping, you know, Fortune 500 companies uh, maximize their profits and working with select individuals to make sure that you, he really leveraged their um, intellectual property. And we got to do some exciting things together in San Diego the last time I was out in San Diego. And so I'm really excited to have you here. Mitch, how are you doing today? Oh, Ken, I'm great. Thank you. It's always, uh, it's always wonderful to have a conversation with you <laughs> and our friends. It looks like we've got a nice uh, group of friends who've joined us today. So welcome. Yeah, we, we've got some great friends. And, and you know, I, I, should, uh, I should probably give out a call uh, out to a bunch of people that are here on the call. But... Uh, uh, you know, the list would be a little bit long now, but even just to go through a, a few of them, Carol and Chris and Deborah and Eddie and Jim and Melissa and Mike and Mike again and Richard and Rita and Sean and Tim and, you know, the list goes on. But um, it's so fantastic to be able to see a few of the repeating names and new exciting names uh, that are um, excited about the kinds of things that we can do together and the relationships that we build and so I'm excited about that. Well, uh, I think the theme that, that you and I talked about for this conversation and really the theme of what I've seen over the past 35 years, and, you know, it's funny you, you mentioned I've been at it a long time, and I, and I sometimes look back um, on October 31st, this coming October 31st, it will be my 35th anniversary in business. Wow. Um, and I started on Halloween, which is a, kind of a crazy day to start a business. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, I had just been essentially fired by Exxon um, mm. at the time, and I had made 5,000 cold calls, and some people have, have heard this story. But I said, you know what? I'm never going to make another cold call as long as I live. I'm going to do something you know, that nobody in my family has ever done before. So I got my insurance license. And on October 31st, it came through. And so on October 31st, 1978, uh, I became psychologically unemployable and have been now for, I don't know, 75,000 consecutive hours. <laughs> I've never had a job. Um, and so it's been, it's like the blink of an eye, seriously. I, I just cannot believe, you know, that the time has gone by so fast. And, um, and the, 
the good thing about it is I am as excited, maybe even more excited today, about the game I'm playing than I've ever been. Yeah. You know, it's just it's just an amazing, amazing journey. And one of my, my core philosophies has always been you play for the love of the game. And if you're not playing a game you love, you should really think, rethink the game you're playing and get into a game you love. And, and you know, that's got to be an inside-out process. That can't be an outside-in process. I think we spend so much time looking at the latest, greatest models, the, the hot thing, the new shiny object that we we lose track of our soul and we lose track of our role. You know, what are we here to really do? So for me, it's been an amazing journey, ups and downs, ins and outs, down to my last dollar many times. Um, and yet somehow I'm still here, still kicking and screaming and making a ruckus. So <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's always good to play with you, Ken. So I'm thrilled to be with you, really. Well, isn't that true? You know, for a decade and a half, really, we built a community of friends and family, and we help each other out a lot. We've uh, been lucky enough in the JV Alert Live and Impact family to, uh, you know, see hundreds of JVs and uh, that have ger generated millions and millions of dollars. Uh, yeah, there, there are a number of stories about people who have uh, become uh, millionaires from attending some of the events and and, you know, really, even more importantly, the thousands of lives uh, that have been enriched by people that they met and the relationships that they formed. Um, like you say, it's uh, not just business, it's personal. So we're, uh, we're going to talk today about specific ways that we can help each other prosper in profits and IP and maybe even a little bit of legacy, you know. Uh, hate to hate to even mention the fact, but we're not going to be all around forever. And I personally would like to, you know, build some kind of a legacy beyond just one life. To know that the impact that I have today is going to last uh, far beyond my personal presence here on the earth. Uh, so we can maybe even glimpse a little bit of that. Um, but uh, we we really want to talk a little bit about all three and, and impacting profits, of course, is a, is a subject that's really, really important to a lot of people. Uh, and I want to have a conversation about that together, you know, how we can create more profit in people's business, uh, how you can monetize your uh, IP and and eventually, you know, be able to to leave that legacy that you want to. Um, uh, that you want to have after your own life. And I want to talk about how to actualize your relationship capital because that's a great phrase. I love that phrase for the highest and best good of all. You know, um, We're all about uh, making an impact and helping you have your impact. And, and it's kind of a special magic when Mitch and I get together. So I think together uh, we can all work together to have a bigger impact and, you know, Create a bigger pie of wonderful things uh, that are um, that are happening in all of our lives. And you say, I know, Mitch, that the new game is not about compromising; it's about maximizing. So let's talk a little, little bit about maximizing. Okay. Um, well, I, I would imagine there there may be a few people who are um, with us today who really don't even know who the heck I am, um, and that's actually more than fair because I'm really not a celebrity and I'm not famous and I don't even actually have a best-selling book like you do. Um, I, I've actually been a pretty much under the radar kind of guy the past 35 years and my, my game has always been collaboration. And when I first got into business, I understood something really important. I, I, maybe I had a leg up, but I was never very competitive. Now, I was an athlete. Okay, and I actually even had a trial with the St. Louis Cardinals baseball mm. team. Wow. All right. But um, I will tell you that I was never competitive in the spirit of competition that business manifests when I got into business 35 years ago. It was all about competition. My game was always to play the best game I could play and make everybody on my team a better player. I realized early on that 1 plus 1 doesn't equal 2. 1 plus 1 equals infinity. Yeah. Because there's, there's no measurement system, there's no calibration to what the power of two committed, brilliant people 
coming together to bring their you know forces together can create. And in fact, you look throughout history, so many creations were creations of two people. One plus one equals infinity. Yeah. And so I always looked to two things. One is how can I collaborate in the highest and best way with somebody, which changed my perception of the game and theirs. And then how could I make everybody on my team better so that everybody would want to play with me? Mm. And I have, um, I have a, a whole bunch of little sticky notes, as I'm sure most of us have around. Um, one of them above my desk is I only work with people I can hug. <laughs> okay, and that's, that's really true. I only work with people I can hug. And a lot of people I work with I've never met, actually. Yeah. But when I do meet them, there's no question I can hug them and they can hug me. And I, I say that you know, metaphorically, but I really say that truthfully. Another one is everyone wants to work with me because I'm so darn good to work with. And, and I don't say that boastfully. I say that because that is actually part of my ethos of business. I've always felt that the way that you do business is as or more important than the products or services that you sell. Yeah. And if you want to be in business for the long haul, you've got to be respected. You've got to be in, in integrity. Like We all make mistakes. You're not going to have a perfect career. I've made more than my share of mistakes, and I still make them every day. But they're not mistakes of intention. They're just mistakes. In other words, I'm not intentionally making mistakes for my own self-interest. Right. They're just human, they're human errors, okay? And, and so what I found early on, and it's probably served me, you said it earlier, relationship capital is the most valuable asset in business because when you're thriving, it's your relationship capital that's helping you to thrive. You don't do it by yourself. When you are barely surviving, like if you're in business long enough, you will be at some point barely surviving, it's your relationship capital that gets you through the tough time. And so I made a point to put the trust factor um, at the top of the list. And, and so, you know, to me, it's always been about when two people come together with the intention for the highest and best good for both parties, uh, you cannot help but make an impact, and you cannot help but create a bigger pie, and you cannot help but create more possibility um, because the intention is highest and best for all. So that's been kind of the philosophy of maximize, don't compromise, um, and I do that you know, in every situation with everybody I talk to, whether they pay me or they don't pay me. Yeah. So you know, that's kind of a, a frame around which you, know, you and I got together. We decided to collaborate more than just you know talk about a collaboration, we actually constructed a specific collaboration, which was more than just a one-time JV. We said, you know, if we could be in this game together for a, the long haul, right. how can we create the highest and best impact for you, for me, and for the people we serve? And that's kind of how you and I kind of came together, right? Yeah, and and, and you know, it's interesting our our story the way that we did come together, because we used to live uh, fairly close to each other on the, uh, on the eastern side of the country, and we didn't have a lot of contact. But, uh, you know, just coming through and touching base from, from time to time over the years, uh, we developed a, a relationship, and then we kind of cemented that relationship, I think, uh, when we got together in Philadelphia. But when we, when we finally got together and had we're able to have an experience together in San Diego and to build on that. You know, we've been working at this relationship now for a long time. And the thing I love about our relationship, Mitch, is that uh, magic happens. Uh, we're so complementary in so many different ways. Uh, the the skill sets that we bring to the table and uh, are, are probably completely different, but yet our, our mindset is entirely on the same kinds of things. We're, we're thinking together about how to make a difference. We're thinking about how uh, we can elevate people and raise them up and uh, maximize their, their success when, um, when so many people um, you know, kind of approach things from a, a teardown point of view. Uh, I think what we share is we share that build-up uh, point of view for people that want to be supported and 
uh, at the same time, you know, get completely different perspectives uh, that, like you said, one plus one equals infinity. And when we get together, I think really magic happens. Yeah, and I want to, you know, it's funny you mentioned the word compliment because I really want to uh, bring that word up. And I also want to bring up the word conversation. Uh, when I first wrote the New Game of Business book back in 2003, it, it was published in 2004, and actually I'm going to rewrite, the, there'll be a new version of it coming out in the first of the year. Um, I've got a new book coming out this month on Kindle called the new, Winning the New Game of Selling. All right, uh, But really, if you get down to the heart of it, the whole new game, my whole career has been about conversation and cooperation. And when you engage in conversation with the express intention for all parties to come out of that conversation with the highest and best that they can come out of that conversation with, and the parties are willing to sit in each other's seats to see the world through each other's eyes and to, to be able to understand you know, what it's like to sit in somebody else's seat that's when magic really does happen. Because we spend so much of our time inside our own paradigm that we start to see the world the same way over and over and over and over again. And I'm guilty of this no differently than anyone else is because you know, I look through my eyes and I'm always looking at the world outside of me through the same set of eyes and as, as expansive as I like to think I am and as open-minded open as I like to believe I am, I can never see what you can see. Yeah. And you can see things that I can't see about me. It's one of the things we talk about in profits and IP is you have at least 25 to 50 percent more profitability, minimum, as do, as do I, and 30 percent more value on your balance sheet and your intellectual property, and it's hiding in plain sight. Yeah, and you can't, exactly right. And you can't see it. You know, we've had okay, that. In, so, yeah, please, I, I was saying we we've had that in some of the uh, the private consulting that we've uh, been lucky enough to do together. You know, uh, situations in in which there are assets sitting right there in front of somebody's face uh, that they really haven't uh, they haven't noticed yet. And uh, and and when we're working together, I think the combination. You know, it, it, it's almost like a, a ping pong match. <laughs> You know, one one person uh, uh, you know hits the ball across the net, and and the other person you know uh, hits it right back, and it just keeps going higher and faster. And and uh, when you end up uh, at the end of the game, I mean, it's it's mind blowing how much uh, distance we can make, uh, and how many different ways we can actually leverage assets that already exist. Uh, sitting right there in somebody's uh, face, you know, that, that they haven't even really thought about. Uh, they haven't even focused on or they just don't see, you know. I do a quick exercise at JB Alert Live sometimes where one out of 100 people will actually see a particular insight. And when people are working with us, you know, in, in the... Uh, in the kind of stuff that we're able to do in a small group or or able to do in a private basis with uh, some of our consulting clients um, it's 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 the case of of uh, you, you know multiplying that exponentially because um, because you can sit back and take a look at what I'm doing I can sit, sit back and take a look at what you're doing and uh, the insights just pile on so let's let, let me take that equation to the third dimension now. Yeah. All right. And um, I'm a big fan of the power of threes. And much of what I do, I've I've done around models that wind up in triads, and then I've got dozens and dozens and dozens of these because it's a it's a really great model to to frame. And if you can get anything down to its simplest form, yeah. Uh, it, it, it's 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 the ultimate, you know. Uh, da Vinci said simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. And sometimes we, we tend to make things hard and complex and complicated, but really the best stuff is the simple stuff, mm -hmm. you know. And so here's a simple 
add on to that one plus one equals infinity. Now if you bring the third mind yeah. into the conversation, now it's like you have latitude, longitude, and altitude, and you can find any place on the planet with latitude, longitude, and altitude. I think part of the reason that we have been really helpful and, and uh, effective is because when we bring our one plus one to that third one, and that third one also engages in that collaborative process, you now move to an infinite possibility. Because if you look from a two-dimensional one plus one to a three-dimensional one plus one plus one, it really becomes one, you know, geometric. And now your growth is not arithmetic. Your growth is geometric. So example, we were working with a client who was a JV Alert um, a family member and came to our one-day intensive and uh, said, geez, well, you, you gave us one thing in that one-day intensive that turned my, my entire head around. And it was a strategy I call go doink. Yeah. Okay. One, of, one of the most powerful strategies that you can ever employ in your business with your IP with relationships in any way, shape, or form, any type of asset or capital, is to walk up to the center of the bullseye, whatever that bullseye is, and go doink. Yeah. And I observe that most people were shooting at their target from a mile away uh, at a moving target with a blindfold on, and they're wondering why they can't hit the center of the bullseye. And I say, walk, take off the blindfold, walk up to the center of the bullseye, and go doink. Well, this is a go doink moment for him. Yeah, exactly. And, he, and he, he didn't even realize it, and so he agreed to work with us. We agreed to work with him, and literally with one strategy, within 60 days, he had his entire investment in working with us back, and, you know, a real possibility or a probability for a six-figure payday over the next, what, 90 to 180 days, would you say, Ken? Yeah, I think I think that's probably accurate, and and uh, the magic of that is that that's just the start. <laughs> that was one little tiny thing, and I think you're you're so uh, right on the simplicity aspect, uh, and and knowing you know the motivating factors that are going to be able to get you through, having uh, some accountability to help you get through too, but. Uh, but the simple things, you know, I talk at, at JB Alert Live a lot of times about the three things that you need to make money and how often do people leave out one of those crucial areas even when they're very, very experienced. Uh, but you can do a checklist that just basically goes through and says, you know, which one of these areas is the weakest? How can I, how can I uh, maximize that aspect of things? Um, and if I'm missing something, I know that I will not make the money or I will not have the the maximum potential effect on the bottom line. Uh, so what do you do when, when, when um, can we give an example maybe of what we do when we're working with clients uh, to, to identify what those resources are to, uh, to help them get through the process of, of discovering, you know, the found money? Because one of the things that was so nice about working with the particular client that you, that you mentioned was that we were able to get him to the point where it was found money that he was playing with uh, really in, in a rapid kind of a way. Uh, well, geez, you said a mouthful, and I'm writing down notes furiously here. Um, <laughs> oh, no. See yeah. what happens? Okay. So um, found money, house money, ROI times two. So remind me if I forget any of those. House money, ROI times two, but I want to make a point about leverage. Yeah. Um, people have heard this phrase bandied about a lot, and I will take credit for it because I, I started my keynote at Brian Tracy's International Conference in 1991 with these six words. Big doors swing on little hinges. Yeah. Okay. You've heard those words around a lot, but you're listening to the guy who first realized this 25 years ago, really, that I was a little guy. I was too small to open up the big doors and push them open. I had to find the little hinges that opened up the big doors. And I became really skilled at being able to look for the little hinges. While everybody's looking to open up the big doors and push them, I'm looking for what is that little hinge. All right. So each of us 
myself included, and that's why I work with Ken, because he can see what I can't see. And that's why I have other experts in my, in my board of advisors, on my team. I have a business partner. I have two business partners in different businesses. Why? Because I don't want to do it alone, first of all. I did it alone way too long. And secondly is I am absolutely certain that I am missing something that's hiding in plain sight without a doubt that somebody else who's outside of my eyes can see. Yeah. And so what I became really good at is looking for that little hinge that opens the big door in the shortest amount of time and that is hiding in plain sight and you can't see it because you're looking right past it, just like I may be looking right past it in my business. All right. And so back to the ROI times two. When people ask me what game, what business I was in, um, I always said, I'm in the money game. I'm in the money business. And it doesn't matter what my product or service is. I'm in the money business. You are in the money business. Whatever your product or service is, in some way, shape, or form, you're in the money business. You're either saving people money, making people money, uh, preserving their capital, growing their asset base, some way, shape, or form, they're in the money business. So what I say to my clients and the people I work with is very simple. There are two very important ROIs that you need to look at. ROI number one is return of investment. Return of investment. I spent my first 10 years in business as a financial planner. I am actually a certified financial planner. And when people would come to me about their, with their money, the very first thing I would say to them is, you want to make sure you have a safe return of investment in whatever you invest in. That's the first ROI. And the shorter the time frame, the quicker you can get a return of investment, the faster you're going to be playing with what is known as house money, meaning you've got your chips off the table. You've got extra chips now. Anything else you put on the table is, is somebody else's money. It's a return on, on investment. That's the second ROI, is return on investment. So the goal here with my clients and what I look for in working with somebody is how fast can we get you the first ROI, return of investment, so you're playing with house money. And if we can amortize that, meaning we can help you finance it, even better, you know, why did the car industry go into the, into the financing industry? Because there was more money in financing cars than there was in selling cars. And the reality is that 95% of the people who wanted a car really couldn't write and stroke a check for the car, but they could finance it. And all of a sudden, the car industry realized, you know what? By financing our product, we make more money than by selling our product. Interesting distinction. Yeah. So if you can find if you can finance somebody to return of investment even better, and then so you want fast return of investment and forever return on investment. And so what we look for is what is that little hinge that's going to open up the door to get you the fastest return of investment, and then sustainability long term to to open up the doors with the little hinges that are going to get you forever return on investment, and and that's what you know. The one plus one plus one creates that kind of magic. Yeah, exactly, and 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 that's a magical experience that we've been able to uh, to to have in in the time that we've been able to spend together, and working in actual live situations, you know, in real businesses uh, where you can see that magic happen is a lot different than than uh, the theory of making it happen. Uh, so um, I want to thank you personally for for enabling me to be able to uh, to play in some of those those games because uh, the the experience has certainly been magical for me. You know, I've I've been about uh, creating impact, making a difference in people's lives, and one of the limiting factors that most people run up against is the the factor of how do I finance uh, you know my impact? How do I actually go out there and change the world if I don't have the resources to make it happen. And uh, you've been able to uh, help me focus in on that so well uh, in terms of, I, I think, uh, you know, just starting out with your financial planner background and then your business and sales background 
And being able to be on the inside of these businesses for so many years, uh, the insights that you bring to the table really, really make a huge, huge difference. And uh, the, the, the other side that I get to play is, uh, you know, the side of, you know, how do you build the audience? How do you market? Uh, so where, where Mitch is, um, is really working uh, in, the, in the internal aspects of your business and stuff like that, I'm really out there looking at how can I market this to the masses? How can I take your particular uh, message, your ideas, products, and services that you want to reach millions and be able to leverage what you've got and to get it out to the people that actually need it because that's how I have an impact. That's how I make a difference is by enabling people who have those valuable resources to get them out so that they they can uh, make a difference in other people's lives. And you can't do that if you don't have the money to uh, support uh, your mission. So, Well, I'm glad you brought that up, too, because um, that's a perfect example of one of my blind spots um, and one of my, I, I wouldn't call it a weakness, because it's, it's not as though I'm supposed to be good at everything. I'm really good at some things. Um, but I'm really not good at doing what you just described. And so uh, one of the things we talk about in the new game of selling is to understand your selling style. And the truth of the matter is we all sell and we all need to be better at it. Um, and that's something that you know I, I've prided myself on becoming a master salesperson, but not in the traditional sense of pitching, persuading, neuro-linguistic programming, influence, none of that. That's not selling, really. Selling is all about helping people get what they want, the way they want it, when they want it, how they want it, and to be the indispensable and irreplaceable trusted voice of choice in your industry. And that's what I've always strived to be. So people call me for advice and counsel on things that are sometimes unrelated to business because they know, I, not because I have the answer, but because they know I have the intention to help them come up with the answer and will eagerly refer them to someone else who's more skilled than I am. And that's what having a, a network of resources is all about. I spent 10 days in, in 2010, 11, I spent 10 days with a friend of mine, Larry Benetti, to help him bring people to a speakers and authors networking group a very private group of, of the top 150 authors, speakers, networkers in the world, and in, impact, a real impact group. And I will tell you that that 10 days, although I didn't make any money at it because I didn't do it to make money, those 10 days I took away from my business to help his business help me build my Rolodex in a way that I'm, I mean, for the rest of my life, I'm now set. I can literally pick up the phone, call any best-selling author, any any person, and if I can't get to them, I know somebody who can. Well, the question I would have for you is, would you invest 10 days in somebody else's business if those 10 days could set you up for the rest of your life in terms of having a network to die for? Okay? You know, and, and sometimes you actually have to get out of your own head and you have to ask yourself, am I my best product or service, or am I actually my highest and, and most valuable asset? Hmm. Or is it possible my my network, my Rolodex, my relationships are more valuable? I was talking to a client just the other day, and in one year, this guy has been able to align himself with the, the biggest experts in the world. He came out of nowhere. And a year ago, he was working in corporate America. And, and I said to him, do you have any idea how incredibly valuable your story is about building relationship capital? And how if you and I partnered together and I became the product and you became the door opener, I won't open doors, but you open doors. I have the I have the skill to be able to move people to the next level. Why don't we look at that possible collaboration? You, you complement my weakness. I complement your weakness. Our strengths together, now all of a sudden we're worth more. So ask yourself, is it possible I have 20, 30, 40, 50% or more asset value or income from someone else's product, but not just a you know one-off thing, but a long-term relationship. 
And that's kind of what Ken and I have begun to put together with the impact uh, program or, or the, the impact initiative, if you will, right, Ken? Yeah, exactly. And, and, uh, and that's the complementary aspects. You know, a lot of times when I'm mentoring and working with people, um, I encourage them to, to realize the, that networks matter. You know, who you know uh, matters. Uh, when we bring people to JV Alert live and, and, uh, and I hear the uh, oftentimes the complaint of, of, well, you know, this is, this is a club, you know. Uh, just, the, just the gurus get to take part, uh, and, and it's kind of a syndicate, you know, or, a, or a, a, a good old boys club or something like that. And the truth uh, is that, you know what, it is a group of people who work together and, and enable each other's businesses, but, they, but anybody can get into this group if you want to take that proactive approach uh, to be positive and to be helpful and to be giving like, uh, you know, you'll find at uh, JV Alert Live and Impact events all around the globe. But, uh, but, the, but the synergy between having an audience and the connections like that and then having the, the hardcore business sense of being able to take a look at the balance sheet, see, see what's going to be your, your greatest resource, uh, who you're connected to combined with uh, the intellectual property that you've built a, up over a lifetime, and anybody that's on this uh, on this webcast today has built up significant intellectual property that can that can be leveraged because we've all had to solve problems along the way. We've all had to come up with solutions that other people can use, and if you can take that leverage of that intellectual property uh, and you can combine that with a network and and with the science, the art, the technology uh, that we have on how to persuade people and how to move the masses uh, to take uh, actual action, you know, then the results are, are, are limitless. Um, I, I know that uh, we, ha we have a limited amount of time today, and it's amazing how fast it's, uh, it's going by here, Mitch. Um, the, uh, the, the things that I think maybe uh, are important that we talk about um, is maybe touch a little bit on the intellectual property aspects of things and and how important that is to the the future and then secondly I want to be able to um, you know we talked about the collaborative kinds of things that we wanted to talk about today and I want to let people know that uh, whatever their level at uh, there are there have to be ways that uh, we can work together and be able to make the world a better place by uh, collaborating together, and I, I'd like to uh, talk a little bit about that and the ways that um, that we might be able to work uh, with some of the people in this um, in this event to be able to really maximize um, our relationship together. Well, let me address your first question. Um, about twenty, I don't know, twenty-three years ago, I was giving a seminar in New York, there were about 400 people in the room, and I was a full-time speaker at the time. Um, and at the end of the and, and I used to record everything, and I, it's one of my mantras is record everything. Record everything, record your coaching, record your consulting, record your everything. Because every time you record something, you capture it for eternity, and if it's worthless, you can always throw it away. But if you don't record something, you lose it for eternity, and you will kick yourself because you're going to come back and say, God, if I only would have turned the recorder on. Well, good thing I turned the recorder on that day because unbeknownst to me, by me bringing that little hefty cassette recorder and putting it on the table and hitting play and record, it started me on a journey that's paid me millions and millions of dollars over the past 23 years and enabled me to impact hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people that I would have never otherwise reached or impacted in ways I could never have imagined. And it all came because I hit play and record. Um, and a guy comes up to me afterwards and he says, I want that cassette. And I said, okay. And I didn't have a product. I just hit play and record. Okay. I said to him, what do you want to do with it? And he said to me, I want to send it to my five thousand business customers. And I said, why? 
He said, because I was going to send them a pen set or a calendar or something, a specialty item. He said, but the very best thing I could ever send them would be to listen to the last 90 minutes of, of your presentation. He said, I, want, I think this will get me more business than anything I could send them. And at, in that moment, I realized something early on in the game. I was in the intellectual property game. I was not in the information game. I was not in the speaking game. I was not in the training game. I was not in the consulting or coaching game. Those are all modalities of delivery. But this guy basically told me, your cassette, your seminar is going to be marketing currency and customer capital for me to get more business and I'd rather pay you, and I told him it would be $1 profit per cassette on top of the hard cost, and he agreed. Two weeks later, I had a check for $5,000. And he duplicated them, sent them out. Two weeks later, I get a phone call from an attorney. He said, I just listened to your recording. I have 10,000 clients. I'd like to send them your recording. I said, would you pay me a dollar per recording? He said, yes. So get this. In like 30 days, because I hit play and record, I made $15,000 by allowing somebody else to use my intellectual property as marketing currency and customer capital. And that made them money. It made me money. And I only got paid $250 for that speech. So why do I tell you that? Is because your intellectual property is worth so much more than you even could imagine. And, it, and, and in order for you to liberate it, you have to unbundle it and release it from the form it's in, book, tape series, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And this is a really hard distinction. But once you get this, it will transform everything because instead of just seeing opportunity over here and over here and over here to sell your stuff, you're going to see opportunity popping up everywhere to be able to license and collaborate with people. And so over the past 20 plus years, I've been able to help my clients create $3 billion of revenue, both in terms of profits and IP. I've, I've been able to make a lot of money doing this. It enabled me to get off the road and be a full-time stay-at-home dad for 10 years um, because I was able to replace my speaking income with licensing and intellectual property revenue. And you right now are sitting on untapped, underutilized, undercapitalized, and undermonetized intellectual property. And nothing would please me more than to help you find it, uh, identify it, liberate it, and make money with it. And that's a really big part of what you and I do well together, Ken, is, is we are able to help somebody really see what their intellectual property is and, and be able to combine that with more profit to then you know, look at really creating a great legacy for yourself. And, and not only leaving behind more, but impacting people while you're here. And, and to me, quite honestly, I, I totally get your, your wanting to impact a lot of people and leave a legacy. But for me, I want to impact as many people while I'm still breathing <laughs> as I possibly can. Yeah, right? that's good. You know, because I won't, I won't know who I'm impacting after I stop breathing. But <laughs> While I'm breathing, I want to be able to impact as many people. So, you know, that's the power of intellectual property. And again, this is hiding in plain sight. You can't see it. I can see it. I can see it so clearly. It's like right in front of you. Yeah. Um, and, and, I, and I want to point it out. I want, I want to help you to see it. I want to help you to really um, capitalize it. And that's a big part of why Ken and I decided, you know, to come together and, and, and maybe move forward on you know, three different ways that we could actually collaborate together with you, you know, to give you the best of our 150,000 hours of combined wisdom, but also, you know, have you be a, an integral part of that one plus one plus one infinite possibility equation. So, yeah. Ken? I love that. Um, I, I'm, I'm so sorry that uh, uh, I just got a message from uh, Dennis, and he was saying, uh, how much he hated to go, but um, 
but he had to uh, go out and take care of a client, <laughs> which is a good thing. Oh, because, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know he was on the phone. Which yeah, was yeah, he he was, and I uh, and he was saying uh, how he, he would he would love to coordinate with us sometime so that he can put his two cents in. I think on uh, on what we've been able to do together. Uh, so uh, uh, that was that was nice. And I just want to let you know that uh, Dennis was uh, cheering for you there. So. Um, okay. Yeah. So, uh, so that's fantastic. Uh, you know, uh, information. Uh, that's that's mind-boggling and life-changing when you really start looking at the perspectives that Mitch really brings to the table. When you start adjusting the way that you're thinking in your business, it can it can have a, a shift that doesn't just you know move you intra uh, you know incrementally. But really makes your business go doink, you know, and I think that's one of the powerful, powerful things that Mitch does. Uh, Mitch, maybe we should uh, talk a little bit about uh, what we've got planned and what we've got coming up uh, and ways maybe that uh, people can can uh, work with us. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we have um, a joint event coming up uh, in San Diego. So if you just happen to be able to get to San Diego – you can go to a very, very special event that we're holding. It's called a one-day intensive, uh, and that's a full, solid day of pure content, uh, dive down deep. Uh, Mitch and I go into the systems that we use uh, during the first part of the day, and then we'll be doing hot seats the remainder of the day. And uh, that is is an incredible opportunity for people to be able to experience how this kind of thing would work in in their business but um, but I want to I really want to talk about uh, you know ways that people uh, who might not be able to get to San Diego might be able to to work with us and to um, you know kind of take advantage of the synergy that we built up together and you know you you talked about having been in business now for 35 years and i think i've got you beat <laughs> since i started out owning a pet store at age 20 so my entrepreneurial experience has been going for a long long time now uh but but uh, uh we're 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 uh thinking long term here we're really thinking about ways that uh Mitch and i can keep the magic going because I know for me, and uh, and I and I believe for Mitch too, uh, this is something special that you just can't get anyplace else. And and I want to be able to do uh, more of that. So we're talking about doing some special things in San Diego. Do you want to talk about San Diego um, a little bit, Mitch, or how how would you like to approach this? Yeah. I, well, let, let's just let me just say that for San Diego. Um, I don't get an opportunity to spend an entire day like this often, and and uh, you can actually check it out. You can see that for somebody just to get a, a second opinion with me, um, it costs a thousand bucks, and and we don't, you know, we, we work with companies that have really good upside because we don't want people investing money unless they can get a fast return on investment and a forever return on investment. So, San Diego. Uh, we're going to spend the morning giving you our best profits and, and IP strategies, all right, so that we're going to give you what we know. Uh, and in the afternoon, then, we'll go, and, and we only have room for 10 people at this, unfortunately, but in the afternoon, then, we're going to go through each, uh, each person and, and answer one specific question, the most pressing question about your business that you need answered, all right? And, and so we're leaving plenty of time in the afternoon to do literally some uh, laser intensive coaching. Um, no different than you know if you were to pay us a full private uh, consulting fee, we're going to spend the day with 10 people and, uh, and we would invite you to be one of them. But when I got to talking about this with Ken, I said, you know, there's two things that have guided me for my whole career. Two things that I believe have contributed to my success as much or more than anything else. The first one is what Woody Allen said, 80% of sex, success, sex, <laughs> sex uh, 80% of success is showing up. Yeah. You, cannot, you cannot be successful and you cannot get what you want if you don't show up. And I'm a hermit. I'm a private person. I, 
I could sit in my cave for days on end. I'm an introvert by nature, but I show up, all right? And I plan to show up in San Diego. And so the first thing is you've got to show up. The second thing I learned from my parents, and that is being there, meaning you're being there for the people who you care about, love, and want to serve, all right? And I learned that from my parents because they had a big family. There were eight of us between uh, the yours, mine, and ours, but yet my parents always found time to be there for all of their kids and their grandchildren. And I thought that was an incredibly wonderful thing to model. So the two things that have contributed most to my success, showing up and being there. Well, there are times you physically cannot show up to it someplace, and you cannot be there. All right? So what I said to Ken was, what if we do this for the next three months to help anybody in, in the family of your circle of influence or my circle of influence who would like to be able to work with us for three months to finish the year strong, why don't we replicate the one-day intensive in three separate 90-minute intensive conversations over the next three months? And why don't we create this little impact intensive group where for the people who cannot be in San Diego, if you sign up for San Diego, then you, even though you can't be there, we'll give you the recordings of our last program because we recorded the entire program the last time. We'll give you extra recordings of, uh, of my new game of selling so you, you, you get some bonuses and you can go to any other one day intensive live. But in the meantime, you can be part of our intensive impact group, and over the next three months, we meet once a month to help you to make an immediate impact on your profits, make an immediate impact if you have IP on your IP, and also show you how you can actually be a, a, a middle person to leverage other people's IP and, and make a bloody fortune and do a bloody whole amount of good, even if you don't have IP how to broker other people's IP, including Ken's IP and my IP. And we're going to show you how to do that um, as part of the intensive. So what we agreed to do is, even if you cannot be in San Diego, but if you sign up for the San Diego intensive, um, we're going to give you access to our private stuff, plus coaching with you over the next three months, conversation about how do you make the most immediate impact on your profits Finish the year strong, all right? And 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 here's the price. It's four ninety seven. And oh. end of story. All right. So your 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 question is, is am I in a place right now where if if I could spend, you know, five or six hours together with us, uh, would it make a difference? Could I get at least my five hundred dollars back? Because if you can't get five hundred dollars back, then you know, obviously this is not a smart or good investment. But we we try to make this with enough skin in the game where you take it seriously, but not so much skin in the game that it's oppressively expensive and you can't do it. Um, so it's pretty simple and direct. If you sign up for the one-day intensive in San Diego, you get to go to that intensive or any other intensive if you can't make San Diego. You get the two tickets to the JV Alert for any weekend you want, and you get to join us for this um, three-month program where Ken and I want to have a way where we can be paid a little bit for our expertise, um, but at the same time demonstrate what's possible. And, and, and the reason we want to do that is because of the second part of this, um, that we come together and, and offer some private group, private work. So Ken, you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, uh, in, in terms of the private work that we do. You know, we are able to, um, on a very, very selective kind of a basis, do something really, really special for for uh, people that that it's a really good match for. Now, obviously, uh, if you're going to work with us on a on a private basis, if you're going to work with uh, Mitch and I as a team, uh, this is really more like a, a partnership uh, than it is, you know, a consulting kind of an arrangement. We want to we want to be the partners that are going to be able to help you build that mass audience who are going to be able to work with you on a long-term basis to really maximize your intellectual property and to maximize your profits, to find those resources that are being underutilized now uh, that maybe uh, 
uh, uh, we can we can activate in much better ways than they're being utilized right now and give you the kind of returns that you uh, really want to have for your business. Now, for us to be able to concentrate on something like that and to have the focus, uh, that uh, needs to be a kind of a special relationship in which you have some resources to bring to the table. So uh, the way that we're going to have the biggest possible impact that we can have is through the, the power of being able to reach other people in that trifecta that, uh, that Mitch was talking about, that three-way relationship where you bring resources to the table uh, and we bring our resources to the table and we profit together from, uh, from doing those kinds of things. So uh, we're looking for a few uh, or maybe just one or two uh, potential partners. We've, we, we got one particular uh, person, uh, business that, um, that really, really resonated uh, with us the last time that we did um, the one day intensive in San Diego. And it's just been an absolute joy to work uh, with that client together. And we'd like to repeat that uh, kind of a process. And we'd like to um, have your assistance in helping us to find people that might be perfect for that kind of an opportunity. So even if you don't have uh, intellectual property or resources or an ongoing business, if you don't have uh, uh, products that are up and ready to go right now, we'd like to be able to leverage what we have and to leverage our relationship together so that you can utilize our intellectual property and what we've developed together uh, to benefit all of us. So, uh, Mitch, do you want to talk a little bit about that? or? Yeah. Uh, so, as you know, as, if you're in business where you do any kind of private work, where you're working with an individual or a singular business or a singular company, the greatest breakthroughs usually come from that intensive laser-like focus. And I could literally, I, I swear, I could tell you probably 10 to 15 amazing breakthrough ideas. We could rattle them off one after the next that have come out of that one plus one plus one uh, third mind combination. And so, like we said earlier, for the kinds of companies that have significant enough upside that it makes it almost a no-brainer to, to partner with us because we can bring um, some quick resources, uh, if you're not a candidate for that, all right, as a, as a private client, if you are a candidate for that, um, you can send us an email. You know, you might be a funded startup. You don't necessarily have to be a mature business, but um, what we know is that just like anything, if you can talk to somebody with a $50 million business who has $10 million of upside potential, and even if you can only get to 10% of it or 20% of it and create an extra million or two, um, the payoff for somebody like that is far greater than a small business owner who's doing 500000 and they do the same you know, 20% improvement. And again, where we want to work privately is with the people who, who can make that jump, and that's why we kind of decided for the people who can't make that jump or, or aren't yet ready for that, can we offer a modest alternative, and that's where that intensive three-month um, private program with us is, okay? And so as Ken said, um, in addition to the idea that we could work directly with a, a, a company, if you are not a candidate for that, but you know of a company that could be, this is actually the third way that we could profit together. I said earlier that you really want to ask yourself a hard question. Am I my best product? Is my product or service my best product or service? Is it possible that I could make extra money, as much money, maybe even more money, by partnering with somebody else who has a product, a service, or a unique strategy that I could bring to even one, one person or one company and wind up picking up $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 a month of extra income. So let me share a distinction with you which relates directly to this. Uh, for the past 20 years in every seminar I do, 
I ask people a question. Are you a jockey or are you a horse? Are you a jockey or a horse? Meaning, if you're a jockey, you are riding somebody else's products or services into the money. You work for them, you're an employee of them, you're a distributor for them, you're an agent for them, you sell for them. In other words, somebody else has got a horse, you're a jockey, you get on that horse and you ride that horse into the money. Very, very important question to answer. Am I a better jockey or am I a better horse? A horse is somebody who has the product or service or strategy or software or deliverable, and that horse needs jockeys to ride that horse into the money. All right? So the first question is, are you a jockey or a horse? Now, some of us are both. I'm a jockey and a horse. Ken is a jockey and a horse. But we're usually better as one or the other. I am a horse, meaning uh, I have intellectual property. I have programs. I have things that you could ride into the money if you were to say, hey, I know somebody who could use this horse. And, and Ken is like that, too. But we're also playing jockey, meaning I'm riding Ken's horse into the money, and Ken is riding my horse into the money. And so the third way that you could help us or work with us or collaborate with us, and that in turn we can help you create more revenue, and that is if you want to partner with us where you can lead us to somebody or introduce us to somebody who could use what or more of what we have to offer, we make you a partner in profit. And for example, uh, let's say you led us to somebody who could license our intellectual property for $100,000 a year. And for leading us to that particular client, just maybe for making a phone call, you could make ten dollars or $15,000 as a finder's fee. Or maybe you have somebody you have a relationship with where you would take a much more active role and you could introduce us, but you could pave the way. You could help us navigate it and earn a bigger chunk of that, as much as maybe 20% of that as a, as a sales commission or, or whatever it may be. Point I'm making is, even if you're a horse and you're looking for jockeys, we may be a jockey for you. We may have connections that we could ride your product into the money or vice versa. And that's really the, the third way is to look at us as a horse that we could uh, help you ride into the money. All right, Ken, did I explain that? I, I think so. <laughs> I think so. So uh, so there are three ways, basically, that you could work with us. Uh, maybe you are that perfect candidate, that business that has uh, unleveraged resources, uh, that uh, would really like our full attention and have uh, Mitch and I working, you know, uh, together with you in uh, the, the perfect trifecta of, uh, of insights bringing assets and, and insights and intellectual property all together. Uh, or you could be somebody who would like to really learn more about uh, everything that we're doing to maximize uh, profits and everything that we're doing uh, to maximize your audience and your intellectual property so that you can have a legacy in the world. And we definitely would love to have you participate either live uh, in person at San Diego uh, coming up uh, next week uh, or... Um, or through this uh, special program that we've enabled you to participate in. Uh, like Mitch said, if you, if you can't imagine that you could get $500 worth of value out of working with uh, Mitch and I for the next three months, uh, you know, that's, that's less than $200 a month. Uh, if you can't see that that's going to be uh, useful to you and, and enable you to leverage uh, what you have, then that's not the right program for you. But if you do see that, that's a perfect opportunity that we've never been able to offer before. On top of that, we're going to be able to give you a, a one-day intensive, uh, and I'm, I'm doing um, just dozens of those throughout the country uh, over the, the next year. So uh, there are dozens of and more and more one-day intensives. I'm actually doing 
six one-day intensives in the next um, six weeks. So if you can imagine that in Denver and Baltimore and Washington, D.C. and Philadelphia and in San Diego, um, the special time with, um, with Mitch Axelrod. So you would get all of that, plus you would get uh, full three live days at JB Alert Live for you and a guest. So um, if you can't split up $500, get that kind of value out of, uh, of uh, coming to uh, and participating with Mitch and I over the next three months to make the rest of your uh, year a better year. It's pretty hard to imagine. Um, if you are interested, there is a, a minimum uh, the number of people that we're going to have to have participate in order to do this. Uh, otherwise, it's not our um, it's not really worth the uh, the time and effort that we're going to expand uh, doing this. So, if uh, if you are interested uh, in any of the three different ways, including uh, being able to refer people that you think might be perfect for one of these programs to us then uh, it, the, the one clear call to action is pretty simple. If you're going to come to the one-day intensive, just go to uh, onedayintensive.com forward slash San Diego and register there. If you're going to take part in the 90-day program uh, that will take you through the rest of the year, uh, then definitely uh, go to the same spot, and uh, and you can complete the payment there. Even if you're not coming to San Diego, we'll put you in line and give you a slot so that you can go to any one-day intensive, any JB Alert Live across the country and participate in all of the webinars uh, over the next three months. And if you know of somebody or you think you are a client uh, for us, just send me a simple email at ken at jbalert.com and we will make that happen. Um, so uh, let's, um, is there anything that I missed on that? Well, uh, look, I, I want to really encourage people to be part of this group, okay? Um, because first of all, we're going we're gonna to give everything we have to help you in every way that we can. And, um, and although you may not be able to attend live, even you may not be able to attend any of these live, um, I'm going to promise you that the time that we spend together will be very fruitful, in, not just in money, but in alleviating a lot of the stress and tension and frustration that goes with <coughs> setting up a business and running a business. And, and believe me, I know 35 years I've been involved in dozens of businesses as a partner, as an owner, as a founder. Um, I know what I love to do, and I want to do more of what I love to do and less of what I don't love to do, and I'm sure you feel the same way. So. To kind of jumpstart this thing, I didn't even mention this to Ken, but I'm just going to throw this out there. For whatever it's worth to you, um, we want to get, as Ken said, we want to get 10 people into the into this group so that it's worth everybody's while to do it, and there's synergy. So to jumpstart this thing, um, the first five people who do sign up for the intensives in San Diego, obviously if you're there, you'll get this live. If you're not there, I'm going to give you a private second opinion. You can use it any time over the next, let's say, three months that we're together. Okay, So we're going to get together for three months. And you can call me. So five people who, who see the value in what we're doing and would be willing to say, you know what, I'm in. Get me going. So that we know we're not going to be talking to crickets <laughs> the first time out. I will give you a second opinion anytime you want. Um, on any issue in your business, and we'll just arrange it by phone or by Skype, um, and you can ask me any one thing about anything in your business. It could be a really big deal you're working on. I can tell you this, just in the last 30 days, um, just by languaging a better value proposition, my clients have made tens of thousands of dollars just in the last 30 days, small business owners made tens of thousands of dollars just by me helping them to relanguage, reposition, uh, reevaluate their offering and, and what they what they say to people. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that as a as a little bit of a carrot. Uh, you get to call me anytime between now and the end of the year for a private second opinion and I'll do my best to come up with one strategy that you know really makes your investment in this intensive 
you know, just peanuts. So that's my throw in. And uh, wow. so hopefully um, let, there'll let be me, five uh, people in the world who value that enough to jump in the game with us. Yeah, exactly. And and uh, I've already got a message here from Sean saying, I'm in bud, let's rock and roll together. And so that's uh, that's really, really good. Um, <clears throat> And uh, also, I've got uh, comments from uh, Mike. Uh, thank you, Ken and Mitch. I'm looking forward to working with you guys in the future. Love your energy and work ethic. Um, and uh, we really appreciate that, Mike. Um, so uh, people are coming in. There may be some questions here. Uh, so I'm going to ask uh, if you would be willing to just open this up for a couple questions uh, in case people have it. If you have a question, go ahead and um, there's a little raise your hand kind of a thing. I can unmute you. Or you can just uh, type it into the Q&A if you've got a couple more minutes. I know we're over our time, uh, Mitch, but I want to make sure that we get uh, people in. Yeah, yeah, no problem. And we're in this for the long haul. So yeah, exactly in. right. And we've got <laughs> got people that are really, uh, really enthusiastic about this. Uh, uh, you know, I've got Arson saying here, the three C's, the power of the four big C's, community, cooperation, collaboration, conversation, rocks. There's no I in team, digging the call and time together, boys and girls, little hinges, uh, swing big doors. You're in the money business. Return on investment and second return on investment. Major distinction between those two ROIs. Great stuff. Um, <clears throat> And, uh, you know, just all kinds of uh, uh, nice comments coming in to me uh, right now about um, all of the stuff that, um, that we're bringing here. So I'm, I'm excited to that. Um, Question. If, you have, Question. if you have questions, let me just look down the, the toll here. I got Sean uh, wanting to open up, so I'm going to open up the line for Sean. Hold on just one second. Sean, how are you today? Hey, how's it going, Ken? How's it going, Mitch? Pleasure to meet you, Mitch. Hey, John. You too, Sean. Really a pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking forward to you guys really uh, knocked it out of the park with the uh, information and uh, just sharing today. I really, really enjoyed it. The, the question I have, Mitch, uh, it's kind of a, a, a little bit out of the, the realm of what we talked about, but are you a part of the CEO space? I am not. Okay, I, I was just. I know a lot. Of, I I know Bernie well, and I know a couple of people on the board, and I know the one of their speakers. So, but I've not been involved with CEO space. Okay, I was just get just curious. That was my only question. <laughs> okay, yeah. great. Uh, yeah. Bernie was one of the guests that we had at the uh, at the Impact uh, Meetup uh, that we just had in Philadelphia, and uh, we had a had a great time together. CEO space is. Uh, been nice enough to send a lot of people to JV Alert Live, and there's some interesting synergies going on with CEO space, um, and so I really appreciate that. Um, let me just look down here. Um, Sean is asking if Mitch is on Facebook, uh, and yes, he is. Yes. If yes. you if you go to uh, to my Facebook account, Sean, you'll see uh, some tags there that will take you straight to Mitch, or you can just type in uh, Mitch Axelrods. Frank Sousa wants to say hi to a couple great guys. I don't know who he's talking about, <laughs> but Frank Sousa is pretty great himself. Uh, hey, uh, Frank. <laughs> Hello, Frank. Let me see if I can I get... Let me see if I can get uh, Frank to open up his mic here and see if he's on the line, because uh, every time you get a treasure like uh, Frank Seuss on the line, you should l open up the mic. Hey, Frank, are you there? Oh, he doesn't have a mic on. Oh, that's too bad. All right. Well, uh, great to have Frank Sousa here. Frank is a treasure. He came to JV Alert Live, and with Mike Koenigs, who is a featured speaker at JV Alert Live San Diego, actually scribbled out on the back of a napkin literally the, the ideas and uh, process for a joint venture that created um, Traffic Geyser and went on to do amazing things with uh, Mike Koenigs. And we miss you sorely, Mike, um, uh, <laughs> Frank. And uh, Mike will uh, be there. I wish that uh, you could be there. If you get a chance, come on down. <clears throat> All right, I think we're wrapping it up, uh, Mitch, and, 
And hopefully yep. everybody is going to go straight to onedayintensive.com forward slash San Diego. If you do have any questions later on, you know, feel free to email me at Ken at JV Alert. We'd love to have you attend JV Alert Live San Diego and the One Day Intensive if you can possibly get there, do it. For now, thank you, Mitch, for uh, having a great impact on me and the people that we're working with. And everybody go out there, uh, do the good stuff, as Joel Kahn would say, uh, make a difference in the world and have an impact. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to say before I let them go, Mitch? I do. I just want to leave you with a great quote from Winston Churchill. I love this quote because uh, it, it, it really will determine your future, it will determine your profit, it will determine your IP, and it will determine your legacy. Uh, Churchill once said, we stumble over the truth from time to time, but most of us pick ourselves up and hurry off as if nothing ever happened. Mm. And I feel like we, you know, we opened our kimonos today, we, we shared our truth with you. Um, I want to encourage you, don't hurry off as if nothing ever happened. Whether or not you decide to join us, stay with us, participate with us, take what you got from today, take one nugget of gold, nugget of wisdom, go out, make it work for yourself, um, and then come back and report to us that you know that the time that we spent together today, which was much more uh, valuable than any money you can ever spend, uh, was really worthwhile. Because that's that's the highest and best return on investment. That when you invest your time, you feel like your time was very well spent. And so I hope we fulfilled that with you today. So Ken, thank you, and and thank everyone for joining us. Thank you, folks. You all make a difference whether you want to or not, so get out there and do it. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Uh, have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody.